What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. Sex is Hell host of the Life Games channel, bringing you all things on this channel. And the subject of today is damn, damn, cam, cam. My man done stuck his quarterback arm in his own proverbial mouth. If you didn't catch what he said to this young lady that was extremely sexist, take a quick look at this clip. See the young lady's reaction, and we'll talk about it. A, a lot of pride in seeing your receivers play well. Devin Funches has seemed to really embrace the physicality of his routes and, and making getting those extra yards. Does that give you a little bit of an enjoyment to see him kind of truck sticking people out there? It's funny to hear a female talk about routes. Like. All right, so you know we've got some people out there that are completely defending the fact that Cam is saying, because you don't have experience being a man playing football as a woman, you can't commentate on it. That is just completely wrong as an African-American, as a woman, as any oppressed group that has gone through anything. It is completely wrong for you to say that because you don't deal with those issues, you can't talk about what you've learned from others in the issue. You can't talk about the experience that goes on in a certain in a certain situation because you've not been in it. Here are some prime examples of that. Parents are always trying to tell other people that if you're not a parent, you don't know what it's like to be like a parent. Psychologists have written down books that don't have kids on parenting that actually help parenting. Anglo-Saxon Americans oftentimes are telling African Americans that there's no such thing as racism. When you have tons of Anglo-Saxons out there that know there's such thing as racism because they've had friends that are African-American, they've experienced it. They've read about it. They've learned about it. You don't have to be an NFL player to understand routes. And what Cam Newton has done is just Pull the scab off what we a lot of us knew was going on in America. There's blatant racism, there's blatant sexism, and it just won't die. The issue with Cam is that he's a big star in the NFL. He's an African American, and in a time where we have Trump in office and it seems like bad behavior gets rewarded, maybe Cam just felt emboldened to say what he said because the powers that be are just saying whatever the hell they want to say. Better not be the no, it's, 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 yeah, that's it, with the gold. I'm going to use some tic tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss them. Right on the other way. Hey, when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. I can do anything. So, my question to you guys is just simple as this What can Cam do to get his quarterback arm out of his throat? Because in most situations, even though a woman doesn't participate in a lot of things in life, a woman's idea and a woman's insight has been what has got us through and what has kept this thing going on this planet in terms of ideas, ingenuity, and fresh, fresh ideas on certain opinions. So I give Cam a thumbs down on that. Admittedly, you know, I'm not a Carolina fan, I'm a Miami fan, but I am a fan of women's rights. I am a fan of anyone who's suffering getting some rights. And I'm a big fan of all the hard work some of our female uh, sportscasters have done in all areas of sports. And so that's my two cents on it. I'm ready to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know on what you think Cam can do to resurrect from that particular mishaps because, you know, maybe he was frustrated uh, about the way he's been playing. That was his way of coming out because he had a good game against New England. But to me, it still kind of says this is something that is in his heart. You know, we live in a world where a lot of people was complaining about being too politically correct. That scab of politically correctness has come off. And how are you guys liking that at this point in time? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself that life game. Let me know how you feel about this situation. What can Cam do to get out of it? If he can possibly get out of it. And for all the female football fans out there, hey, don't feel bad. I got your back. I believe in you. 
I just want y'all to jump on the Miami Dolphins bandwagon. <laughs> and until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you. Enjoy the content on my channel. Please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Games.